What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a 20% salicylic acid peel. Now this is just a, a weak one. It's, it's like a elementary of home chemical peels. So this one you're not going to see those dramatic over the top peeling all those scary pictures you see online. This one's really easy. This one you can do every like two to three weeks and uh, salicylic is great for acne and blackheads, premature aging. Yes, so that's where we're at. If you guys are anything like me, COVID 2.0 is something else, let me tell you. And it's crazy how I have wore less makeup in my life and my face is awful. I am getting pimples all on my forehead and it's, it, I know what it's from. It's from me just sitting in bed and doing this and just, you know, scoping them out, trying to find them. They're there, they're there. And then I scratch them and then it looks terrible. So I have acne here and honestly, my skin has been so clear for years and then all of a sudden now this is happening it's partially probably due to stress but another part is i'm not washing my face every day in california the polluted air it just yeah today i'm going to do a 20 percent salicylic peel and i watched a video so i'm an expert just saying this one is pretty similar to any other at-home peels. It, um, it, like I said, it's not going to create that whole peeling situation. It's just a simple peel. I'm just going to start off with the alcohol. It's 91% just to get rid of any oils that are on your face. And the salicylic um, uh, treatment is great for oily skin specifically. And so, oh, I should have brought a mirror over here. I guess I'll just use my monitor. That's probably not a good idea. I hate the smell of alcohol. Ooh, look how disgusting my face is. Okay, that's gross. That's gross. Yeah, I don't wear a lot of makeup. And so I'm just wondering, why is my face like breaking out? It's always disgusting after you wash your face and then you look at this and it's like disgusting, disgusting. So I am all alcoholed up. Let's let that dry for a second. This little kit comes with a 20% peel and then it comes with a neutralizer. It's a chemical peel neutralizer, professional grade. I bought this on Amazon, I'll link it below so you can check it out. Um, but again, this one isn't, you're not gonna see those crazy results. This is definitely like, like I said, an elementary beginner type at home peel. Uh, you're supposed to leave it on uh, if it's your first time, three to five minutes. Um, I have never, I haven't even opened it. I've never done a salicylic peel. I've only done uh, glycolic and TCA. So this one's a new one for me. I, but because I've used other peels, I think I'm gonna leave it on just for a little bit longer. I'm gonna let my skin tell me. I don't know if this one burns or um, the videos they say it burns a little bit, but uh, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna try to leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm a rebel and I want to feel something because I haven't felt something in months. Um, like I said, I have the acne up here, um, a little bit down here, and so, and my skin has been extra oily, so I'm going to try to get rid of some of that and of course get some fluff off some of the dead skin that um, I have going on. So it's funny because my face started breaking out. I just have these cotton things that are really thin. I usually use these for essence, but I am going to go ahead and use it for this today. They're just really thin, thin cotton stuff. So it doesn't waste a lot of your product. Um, I was using medical grade for my TCA, <clears throat> medical grade um, type uh, little cotton things, but 
we're not doing that today. We don't have any. We're out, so we're we're substituting. And usually I have like a little jar and I do it all. No, we're not doing all that today. We're, we're down to the basics today. We're keeping it simple. Simple. That's what we're going for. So it comes with a little dropper here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And so I'm just going to drop it on here and I'm just going to slather it on my face and see what happens. Will I ruin my skin? Hmm, we'll find out. Do I have a mirror? No. So let's figure it out. All right, we're just going to do it. We're just going to apply it like we would anything else in a swooshing motion. Make sure that we cover everything equally. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody's skin doing? Is your skin doing better than mine? In we go, in we go, swooshy swoosh all around the face. I feel it a little bit, not too bad. But from the video that I watched, because I'm a professional now, um, they said that this will leave like a aspirin-like, I'm doing two layers. So it will leave like an aspirin-like film on your face. So we'll look forward to that. See if we see that. But I feel it a little bit. I mean, it's working. It's doing something. Oh, should I do my upper lip? I might regret that. And in and out, in and out. There we go. Go down the neck. Why not? A little bit on the neck. I never do my neck. So let's do the neck. A bad idea. All right, it's burning a little bit. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer, chill out for a minute, and I'll be back with an update. All right, I'm back. I um, what did I do? What I do? What I do? I use this little fan to cool it down um, because I left it on for 10 minutes. It's over 10 minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and neutralize this and get it off of my skin because it is kind of burning. It is. So this guy here, I guess you just spray it on your face. I'm going to cover my eyeballs. Well, eyeball. How much do you spray on? This stuff kind of burns. Whew. We're gonna dab. It's starting to feel better. I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with cold water and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on this amazing salicylic acid 20% peel. All right, I'm back. And I would say all in all, that was super easy, super simple. It didn't burn too much. Like I can feel it right now. It might, you know, my face is red in a few different areas. Here, let me see if I can get up. Okay. So you can see, oh, you can see my dark circles. It's not from a lack of sleep, I trust me. <laughs> I feel like that's all I do. But it's a little red. I mean, it's not too bad. That was super easy. The TCA peels, now those are another story within itself. But this one, it wasn't bad at all. Like, like I can feel it but it's not like crazy, crazy. And it's recommended you only leave on from three to five minutes. So I left it on for probably 12 minutes and 
It's fine, but my skin can take a beating. I've been using treatments on my skin for a long time, but so far so good. I think it's super easy. I think it's great for a beginner. It has all the steps to it. The only thing you need is some cotton swabs and some alcohol. And then I'm going to put on, I'm gonna let it dry first. I just rinse with some cool water and then I'm just gonna put some CeraVe on it just to, um, to moisturize it and then you know if I'll come back tomorrow why don't I come back tomorrow and you can just kind of see what it looks like tomorrow there's not gonna be any peeling so it's not really gonna be much action I don't think but again this is my first time doing it so I'll come back I'll report tomorrow and see how it goes and how my skin feels I did it on my neck too which my neck is kind of sensitive but I didn't really feel it so that's good all right I'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, this is day one after the peel and my skin is a little bit red through here, but it's not crazy. Um, well, I guess it does look a lot red. I don't know. Let's see. Eh, I had some peeling around my nose, but that's common. The skin around there is just thinner, so it, um, it fluffs off really well and other than that, my face doesn't feel, it feels a little tingly, but it's not a super over the top type peel. I mean, like I said, I have a little bit of redness, uh, a little bit of peeling around my nose, but it doesn't feel extra tight. It doesn't, like I can tell I did it, but it's not uncomfortable like other peels. So. I actually will check in tomorrow because usually the day after you don't really see much results, but I want to see if the peeling goes beyond just around my nose. It probably won't, but I thought, ah, I'll just do one more video and then I'll get this uploaded tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Well, this is day number two and I don't see much going on. It's dry, my face is dry, but other than that, there's no real peeling or scaling. Like I said, I had uh, yesterday, I had a little bit around my nose, but I, that went away pretty quick. And so, you know, it's a little sensitive. Uh, it feels a little raw, but other than that, it's totally fine. And I should say that just reviewing the footage that I had, it seemed like I was minimizing the peel itself. It is a peel. And if you've never done one before, please don't do what I did. Um, use the three to five method, try it out. You can do it again every two to three weeks. So, you know, smaller sections and not damaging your skin is, is definitely recommended, De you know, just be safe. You know, I, I kind of minimized it just because I'm so familiar with, with peels, but it is a peel, it is chemical, and it can burn your skin, especially sensitive skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them down in the comments and stay safe. And I will see you in my next one.